There is still a recall tonight on alfalfa sprouts. They've been pulled from everywhere, restaurants, sandwich shops, and grocery stores. So tonight we're talking to Beaumont internist, Dr. Carl Karub, a friend of ours here at Channel 7 about food safety. So first let's talk about alfalfa sprouts. Why are they so dangerous? I mean, a lot of hospital cafeterias won't even have them there. They're very difficult to clean. All right, so they're easy to contaminate, hard to really clean. Uh, and I think in terms of uh, people and their selection of vegetables and fruits, when people travel overseas, we commonly tell them, if you can't peel it, don't eat it. When you don't really, uh, when you really cannot decontaminate your vegetables, you're really at risk if that becomes contaminated. Now you're at the mercy of the manufacturer or the person who's providing that vegetable for you. Uh, the best thing I can tell the, uh, the viewers tonight is to uh, avoid these uh, ones that are recalled. Avoid alfalfa sprouts in general until we have more information. And if you can peel it and eat it or cook it, just the same thing for travel recommendations. That's a good point. Right. So let's talk about spinach because I know you've heard, I've heard you say before, right. if it's packaged up, don't get it. It's it difficult to, to decontaminate contaminated leafy vegetables. I mean, it's much easier to wash a tomato, for example, and scrub a tomato. How do you really wash lettuce or broccoli or cauliflower? There's so much surface area, there's a lot of place for the bacteria to hide. So you recommend if, if spinach or something like that is packaged up in a grocery store, just leave it? To avoid it at this point. And, and keep in mind that it's the very young and the very old at the greatest risk for these contaminated vegetables. Okay, let's talk about pistachio nuts because there was a recall on nuts right. as well and a lot of people are worried about nuts. I was telling one of the staff here a minute ago before the, we started film, uh, shooting that we have uh, immune systems that will handle contamination. For most of us, we can eat these pistachios, everything is fine. I caution the viewers with young children to be vigilant about any kind of diarrhea or fever. If, if you do that, then that's 99% of what you should be doing, right there. Don't be so concerned, we can't go insane about avoiding all these different foods. Peanuts and pistachios and lettuce and broccoli and tomatoes. Now we got E. coli and cookouts and you know, we can't avoid all the food. We have healthy immune systems. One word I want to mention, if I have a minute Real, or no, a second, you, you only have like two <laughs> seconds. Watch the acid blocking medication. Our acid helps decontaminate these foods. Be careful about all of these acid blockers for GERD, etc. Okay, Dr. Carl Karub, that's going to have to do it first. Thank you, as always. All right, Robbie, I'm going to send it back to you. Yeah, some good advice because I think a lot of people are probably going to be uh, cooking out maybe this weekend because Jerry says the weather's spectacular. Oh, some great grilling weather ahead over the next several days, uh, starting as early as tomorrow.